Hi everyone. Well, I'm here and I am in Outlook 2013, which is part of the new Office 2013 suite. In this video, I'm going to be covering the difference between Office 2013 and Office 2010. We're going to start out in Outlook 2013 and then switch over and look at Word 2013. When I'm in Word, I'm going to cover the differences between uh, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, all those things that go across the products. Thankfully, uh, the difference between Office 2010 and Office 2013 is not huge, so you should be able to get going rather quickly. So let's get started. So I'm in Outlook 2013. One thing you need to know about Outlook 2013 is we're running in what's called cache mode. Uh, cache mode means the uh, we're get, going to be getting our data a little differently from the server behind the scenes. So when you open up Outlook in the morning, the product will open and get all open and it'll look like you didn't get any mail. Well then, once it's open it, behind the scenes, it goes and checks for new mail and then that will appear. So that'll be like a minute later. The other thing you need to be aware of is that items in your folders, and you'll notice as I go by my inbox that uh, my scroll bar appears. If I go to a folder, and I'm going to go to First Form 2011, nothing shows up. We didn't find anything to show here. Well, you need to know that Outlook is not automatically bringing in every single mail item. In your folders, uh, it's only going to display items from the last year. So, if I want to see something that's older than a year, I need to go to our main website, www.fbtc.edu, and log into email uh, using the link there. Web Access will show every single mail item for you. So anything that's older than a year will not appear in this view. All right. The last thing you need to know about cache um, is when I do a search, and I'm going to search for a word for a restructured day. It will search and it will find results, but it's not going to find older items. To see older items, you're going to have to click the More link, and then that will bring up older items. Uh, so it's going to bring back those items from the server that we're not seeing. When I'm done searching, I can click my X, and that will take me back to my email view. While you are here, some nice things about email that have changed. You'll notice that I'm in the All view right now. If I click Unread, it'll just show me my unread messages. So I can toggle between that. While I'm on an item, the red X appears to the right. So if I want to delete something, I can click the red X next to it instead of having to go up to the top. The other thing that's nice is you'll notice, maybe you didn't notice this yet, is I have a folder that is not in alphabetical order. What's nice about this is I can drag my folders wherever I'd like in my list and they'll stay there. Uh, I'm going to give you a caution about this. It might be harder to find things if they're not alphabetical. So I'd suggest putting your most important things at the top and then leaving the rest of the list alphabetical and that'll be helpful for you. At the bottom, we've got our mail, our calendar. You'll notice that if I hover over the calendar bu button, it gives me that view of the calendar so I could see it. I'm going to click calendar and I'm into my calendar and you'll notice that if we look at this, uh, it's also giving me the weather and I can choose multiple locations to view the weather for so if you wanted to you could also set that up. All right, so I'm going to go back to mail and we are in our mail bot view. Um, some other things that you may have noticed, uh, it shows me that I had started a draft response to this message. So that's a good vis visual cue. The other thing, and I'm going to click on that, you'll notice if I click on that message, and I'm going to bring this up, it automatically puts me back into that draft, which is very nice. When you click and you're doing a reply, when you're in your inbox like this, there's this pop-up button, if I or pop-out, 
it pops it out for you so it's into a new message uh, that would be the same thing as double clicking on a message so if if you are in a message and you click reply it brings you into a reply and then you can uh, pop it out just if you want to dis discard it you can also so that's how that's going to be working for you so those are some of the things oh there's one other button now I have it enabled here but let's show you where this is there is a touch mo mouse mode now if I uncheck that I'm gonna click this quick access toolbar customization and click touch mouse mode now I have this button and there's two options I'm in mouse mode now if you happen to be on in an, on a device where it's touch screen you can click touch and it spreads out spreads out your buttons for you which could be nice um, I'm on my computer so I can leave it in mouse mode and then my uh, buttons are more concise but that's available for you also so those are some of the changes in Outlook really not huge differences let me open Word now. So we open Word, and when Word opens, instead of bringing you to a blank document, it brings you to this screen. Now this will happen in PowerPoint and Excel also. It'll list your recent documents on the left, so if you want to open one of those right away, you could. In addition, there's an Open Other Documents link at the bottom, so right away if you know you're going to open something else up, you can click that link. In the right, now if you want to just open up to the blank document, you can double click that. Or if you're working on another new document, you can choose one of the templates and open notes. So let me open a blank document. It brings me in. Now, one thing you'll notice right away is my buttons are gone. That's because I used this ribbon display option and changed it. Now there are three options what I'm doing is just showing the tabs now if you just show the tabs now I can click and it'll pop out the options for me if I want to go back to the other view I could click show tabs and commands and now they're there like they have been in the past uh, and then there's the auto hide ribbon option so all of those options are available and that actually works in all of the office tools in addition, you should be aware of a change in clip art. So if we go to the Insert tab, we now have Online Pictures, and this is a replacement option for clip art. So what I can do is I can go online to office.com and look at their clip art or the Bing image searches, and I can search for something. And I'll search for a flower. And now if I find something, I could choose it. If I want to see a bigger view of it, I can. Um, and I can just double click it to bring it in. So that's how the clip art will work in the future. Uh, there are some things I like about it, some things that aren't as good as the old version, but that's the way it'll work now in the future. All right, so those are some options. Other thing, let's say I'm done with this <laughs> beautiful document. Saving things caught me off guard the, in the beginning. So I'm going to go to File, Save As. You have different options. You could save it directly to SharePoint. We could save it to SkyDrive. SkyDrive is Microsoft's cloud option, and you need a Microsoft Live ID to do that, but you could save it out to their SkyDrive. But normally we're going to save it to our computer, so we'll click computer, and then it lists recent folders, so you could use those, or if you just want the save as dialog box, you click computer and then browse, and then it'll take you to that save as dialog box, and you can go from there. So that's how saving works. Opening documents, if I click open, it shows me recent documents, so I could open those. SharePoint, my SkyDrive, and then the computer. So if you just want to open a document, you're going to come to the open screen, click computer, and then browse. And it'll take you to that place where I can go find my document, whether it's on the O drive or in my documents. So that's a little different. This arrow here will take me back 
into my document because we were in the backstage view. Uh, one other thing that you may be interested in doing, right now I have this gray background with these little submarine things at the top. You can actually change that a little bit. So if I go to File and then Options, in the middle, the office background are some themes. So I'm going to go to, um, let's try stars. And then right now I'm doing dark gray and I'll switch it to light gray. So you can do white, light gray, or dark gray. No other colors. I'll click OK. And you'll notice it changed it to stars there. So you can always do that across the board in one of your products. So we've covered the major changes that I go across the board in Word or Excel and PowerPoint. We've covered changes in Outlook. There are some other videos posted that will help you through the changes that are more specific to each product. Good luck with the upgrade. Thanks.